How's it going, Leo? I'm Sammy. This is going to be your reading from now to the end of May for Leo Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. I'm just going to shuffle these a little bit. I've already cleared them for your energy, but I feel the need to extra shuffle. If you like this reading, please leave a comment of what cards or situations resonated for you. That helps confirm the reading for me and also for, for those who are watching as well, going through similar situations. Please like the video, share, subscribe, all that stuff. That helps the channel grow and it helps other Leos get the messages they need. Right now we're in preparation for Saturn to go retrograde on Sunday the 23rd. So that's going to feel like a big uh, slap in the face. <laughs> or a big smack down or like a come to a complete stop. Uh, Saturn wants to know, are you serious? Are you in or out? Are you ready to commit to something? To a new path? To your passions? To whatever it is that you're diving into or thinking about diving into. Saturn wants you to rethink things and build a strategy and follow the rules. And then we have a major total lunar eclipse on the 26th in Sagittarius, uh, which may bring some confusion, but hopefully it will push you to make a, a decision in something. And then the 29th we have Mercury coming into retrograde. So we have so much energy from now to the 31st. So I just want to get a little bit of everything for you guys. See what you're going through. See how you feel. See what you're going to be coming up against. And then we'll do a little bit of tarot and then we'll close with some angel guidance messages. This is a Pleiadian deck. It's a Shiji Oracle cards deck of Pleiadian messages. I really like it. Um, that's what I did for water and earth signs as well. So I want to do that for you guys too. Spirit, universe, source creator, all of our angels, ancestors, and guides, please be with us during this reading. Give us clear messages, interpretations, clarity, whatever it is that Leo needs sun moon rising or venus leo placements from now to the end of may please give us a pleiadian message for leo from now to the end of may too long Leo what's up with you feeling a little bit blocked jumpers please for Leo from now to the end of May the Hadian message thank you Phew, took a while but we got it okay the old ways cannot exist with the new energies might take a second to focus. Anyways, the old ways cannot exist with new energies, so be prepared for many issues to come up and be dealt with. Some of you will experience much pain in doing this, but recognize that it will take you to the next level. So definitely, we all had some tower moments in the last couple of weeks. We're being asked to really reanalyze our lives. Uh, those tower moments, the transformations that we're coming into and how we're leveling up. So many of you are leveling up in your spiritual awakening, in your ascension process, in your relationships, in your career. And so this is bringing up a lot of pain, a lot of things that need to be healed. So let's get into this. This is the Starseed Oracle. Spirit. So we're letting go of the old. Many different issues coming up. 
And this is so true for us Leos. That's an infinity. Way too many, but I guess if you got lots of issues going on, you may need four. Let's see. The seven star sisters. Wow, Pleiadians. I like that. Birthing creations, tapestry of life, expressions. So new ideas, new creations, fit, finding new ways of expressing yourself through creativity. You may be artists, you may be um, someone in the spotlight, having new ideas of how to communicate. Uh, starting new projects, passion projects. That's exciting. Child of the cosmos. You may be connecting more to your galactic family. Understanding more of who you are as a starseed. It says the intelligence of the universe lies within you. So definitely leveling up energy from now to the end of May. Also, um, if, you, if you're into channeling, Sam the Illusionist, that's his channel. He's been channeling a lot about this uh, portal opening on May 26th. So we will be getting a lot of opportunities to level up. I mean, the opportunity is always there. But during the lunar uh, total lunar eclipse on the 26th, we will all have a greater opportunity for leveling up in our ascension process. So I think deep down we all kind of feel this coming. We all kind of feel this, this internal change and transformation of really trying to embody more of your higher self and stepping up, leveling up in that ascension process. You also have earthed, learning how to be human in the world, but not of it. That is really cool. So, embracing your galactic self, but also staying grounded. And that is so true. And just being the light, really, right? Learning how to be human in the world, but not of it. So it's accepting the fact that you are different. You are the light. You're the sun, Leo. So you're going to be calling attention to yourself. You're going to be putting yourself out there. You're going to be different. And that's what is needed, really, to step into that fully in an authentic way, to accept your gifts and your purpose in the world, but not of it. That's really just uh, big in itself. And then we have We the Hathors. Deep love, mother's milk, birth as a portal. So that's super cool. Wow. Okay, so you may be experiencing really uh, the universe's love, God's love for you, source's love, and uh, healing issues. It says mother's milk. So this is like a very nurturing uh, creation type energy. You may be healing issues between your family or your mother. Some of you may be coming into a more full understanding of who you are as a nurturing figure or as a mother and what you can do to be that light and to help heal others. Birth as a portal. That's really cool. So some of you may have kids um, or some of you may be, honestly, you can go back into this life um, through this childhood regression and maybe try to experience that. That would be really phenomenal. I know a lot of people have talked about that. So for your angels and ancestors, oracle cards, we have Seer. See beyond the current situation. And Broken Arrow. Embrace the energy of peace. So definitely having some major transformations here. Having to see past the current situation of where you are. So it may be uncomfortable in this stage of stretching and growing and change. But this is really just allowing, staying in an energy of peace is really just allowing for it all to take place. Seeing beyond the pain of the situation, allowing the universe to heal and step in, letting go, surrendering to this energy of, of newness, of change, and what it is that spirit wants you to do uh, moving forward. So let's get some tarot. Spirit, please tell me about Leo from now to the end of this month. Definitely a lot of change happening. So much coming up to be healed. 
so much that we're embracing within ourselves, the love of self, the love from God in the universe, the love of Gaia. Yeah, okay, Four of Cups. So I feel like you guys um, have been or still are, and maybe that's why they're telling you you need to see beyond this current situation. Something that's been going on with you, or a situation that you're leaving behind possibly, because we have the death card on the bottom. Uh, you weren't content, you know? It's like you may have options, but none of them are really suitable, you feel. Or things may have been available to you in the past, but it just went sour. You know, this is an energy of like, it's just not what I want. Like, it's not good enough. Kind of holding out to see what other offers are there. We do have the death card on the bottom, Scorpio. So definitely an ending. The world. So this could be an ending with a brand new beginning. This could be dealing with a fixed sign. So Taurus, Leo, Scorpio, Aquarius. But the world is like finding closure. And I think it's deciding to move forward. It's like deciding to put an end to something and just to be okay with it. Because you weren't happy anyways. Again, on the bottom, Six of Swords. So this is can be travel, can be moving. But this is moving on. This reading just feels very emotional to me. So if Spirit is just talking about your current energy, this is for confirmation. So this is moving forward. This is moving to calmer waters. Moving to a place where you feel better emotionally and mentally. Swords is mental. So what are you leaving behind? Okay, you do have some sort of closure here. So I feel like that ending is probably final. Um, and Wheel of Fortune. So it's like the lesson was learned. Definitely karmic. Wow, and there you are. The sun. Um, so you could have been dealing with a Libra or another Leo or a Scorpio. But this definitely feels like the lesson's been learned and you feel happier. If you've gone off on your own, you've done a lot of healing. This is a transitionary period in your life. Ten of Pentacles is coming in for you. So I feel that you're highly focused on your abundance right now and finding, perhaps finding, this happier energy of like having it all. Like you don't want to settle. So I'm going to go for where I have the perfect family situation, the perfect financial situation. You want it all. And I feel like you're much happier now. A lesson has been learned and that's part of this transformation. And now you can move into a way more abundant situation or at least be open to more abundance coming in. I feel like there is someone coming towards you. I just saw the Knight of Swords on the bottom. So somebody can be coming in with news or wanting to talk or wanting to move things forward quickly. Whether this is someone new or someone from your past. I don't know that you're going to give it a chance. Uh, if it is someone from your past, but you got to just be aware of that energy because Mercury retrograde, you know, Mercury likes to dig things up from the past and make sure you actually got the lesson. Tell me more for Leo. Who's coming in for Leo? Jumpers, please. Who's coming in for Leo? I know, but I asked for jumpers. So you guys are wanting commitment. You may have been with somebody in the past and it just wasn't what you wanted it to be. I mean, it did happen for a reason. This person could have been a karmic. Or this could just be like you weren't happy, you knew you could find balance elsewhere or on your own, and so you went and did that. And I feel like you guys are are happy. I mean, there's definitely regret and pain for leaving something behind, but you knew it had to be done. There was definitely a lesson learned. 
What did you learn from this relationship? What did you learn from this thing that, that you were not content? Okay, it wasn't satisfying you. It was not fulfilling emotionally. And so it had to end. And that's fine. And with it comes so much transformation. Transformation with the death. Transformation with the world. Transformation with Wheel of Fortune and Six of Swords. Justice being served. Balance coming into play. Again, happiness restored. You guys could have kids in the mix here. Definitely with Ten of Pentacles as well. Family situation. You could have been with somebody in the past that you want a commitment with and they couldn't do it. Uh, for whatever reason, it just didn't evolve that way. So I think you guys are focused on your money and a stable foundation, whether it's on your own or whoever wants to come in. They're going to offer you commitment because that's what you deserve. And you're in this energy now of I'm not settling for less. You're doing so much work in the astral. You're doing so much work transforming and, and leveling up ascension-wise. You don't want any BS. You're in this flow of peace. So Spirit is saying, don't focus on this. And it doesn't look like you are. See beyond this current situation because things are always changing. You know, Someone else definitely coming in for you. Someone that you can see a new path with. So you guys may be uh, wanting to travel. But it's going to bring excitement. It's going to bring new adventure. And, and you're not going to settle unless it's everything. What is the outcome for Leo from now to the end of May? Outcome. What can they expect from now to the end of May? Jumpers, please. Thank you. Ooh, the Empress. You're in a spirit of Taurus or Libra. Um, this could be someone coming in for you, male or female, doesn't matter. This person is very abundant. Uh, she's pregnant, so this is a very fertile energy. This is... It seems like this is what you want, and this is who you've become in the process. You want the pinnacles. You want the family. You want the structure. You want the commitment in somebody you can rely on. So until you find that, or maybe you already did, but right now you're the empress. That's what I really feel. You're focused on your abundance. You're highly, highly attractive right now. You're attracting a lot of people to you, a lot of new situations, abundance, opportunities. So I really feel, Leo, like you're not worried. At all. <laughs> what is the advice for Leo? What is the advice for Leo from now to the end of May? Jumper, please. The Hermit. Yeah. I can see that. I feel like you guys have already kind of been in a hermit phase, you know, having to walk away from something, putting your focus more on the future, as stated here, see beyond the current situation. So, it's kind of like a rebirth phase for you, birth as a portal. This is completely rebirth, transformation, brand new, lessons learned, transition, restoring balance and happiness. You want something stable, but you are hot as shit right now because you know why? The hottest person, seriously, the most attractive and abundant person is the one who is putting themselves first, focused on themselves and their spiritual, their life, their lessons, their transformation, knowing they can have anything that they want. Manifest, manifestation. I mean, it's like anything that you want. You can have it. And the hermit is about how you did this, how you're continuing to transform, going within Virgo energy, seeking the light, seeking inner wisdom and truth, seeking enlightenment. And these type of changes, this type of galactic, I mean, completely earth angel type rebirth, this transformation is so internal. It's solely done within. And so it wasn't the right time for whatever this was. You already knew. You felt it emotionally because it sucked, okay? <laughs> you know that. It wasn't doing it for you, you know? So you had to get the hell out of there. And with it, it was like acceptance. 
And it, you knew the lessons that were being learned. And since you let it go, balance has been restored. You feel so much better. And this is going to continue, of course, towards the end of May. So if, you've, if you're not yet in this energy, you're going to get there. Be careful when we get towards the 29th, 30th, 31st, Mercury retrograde. We're already in the pre-shadow phase, so you should already be recognizing these lessons. We've already had breakdowns in communication. A lot of that happened with the Scorpio full moon and with the Pluto retrograde. And with these retrogrades, you know, we're being asked to revisit aspects of ourselves, lessons that we've learned, lessons we're learning, the people in our lives, where it is we're going, and what we really want. I'm going to get some of these situations because I feel like this card reading is very spiritual. So let's take it down a notch and see what situation cards come out for you, Leo. Possible situations on the earth plane that you could be dealing with. Tell me about Leo. Possible situations from now to the end of May. Leo. Jumpers, please. Leo energy. Jumpers for Leo from now to May 31st. I'm messing up my cards, y'all. These are good cards, but I guess I'm just rough on my cards. Let me start to pick and things. Leo energy from now to the end of May. Okay, now. <laughs> History. History. You may be focused that for some of you, you have ties to Egypt, ancient Egypt. Okay, for others of you, you may be learning more. I'm getting Horus, very Horus energy off this card. So you may be focusing on your third eye and um, like the green tablets of Thoth. That would be really cool in this transformation, connecting to the astral and cosmic energy as well. Okay, but this is about the past, whatever has happened. And that's what Mercury is calling for us to do. A lot of you may be focused on the past as far as uh, nostalgia. I didn't get that in the card reading, but triggers. Okay, so some of you, you know, Leo, sometimes you can be a little bit jealous. So if something ended and, and I don't know, for some of you, maybe you're kind of upset that it ended still. Maybe you're a little, have a little bit of emotion left here. But it's like, you just got to be careful of whatever triggers these are. If they come up, you need to ask why it's a trigger for you because you ended this. You know, if you're, if you're still dealing with something coming up from your past, it hasn't been healed yet. So dig further into that. Name, car, place. So, you know, we associate things with people and relationships and pain and, and even joy with people. So... Dig into that a little bit. And then we have waves, emotions coming and going. Definitely. So there's just so much work that you're doing right now on every level. You're excited for what's to come in. You're doing so much internal work. And even the cosmos are, are working on you. So these emotions are going to keep coming up. Okay. And it's, it's because it needs to be healed. What is it asking you? What is it telling you to do? Be careful of these triggers. They're, they're warning signs. They're, they're explaining to you what is still needing work. But definitely don't get caught up in this past pain. We have anxiety on the bottom, scared or panic. So some of you, you don't want to fall into that place, but that does definitely feel like more of the, the dark night of the soul energy when you're going through huge spiritual transformations like this, when it starts playing on your 3D, 4D life and wrecking relationships or breaking things down. That causes panic, you know? Um, so for those Leos who are in that energy, definitely 
try to recognize the lessons being learned. I feel that you are. Okay, but allow this balance to come in and find, do the things that make you happy. Do the things that make you feel good. It might be going outside. Look at these flowers here. It might be spending time by the water, in the sunshine, planting flowers, um, spending time with your kids. Whatever it is that brings you that feeling that you are blessed. That brings up that light in you. Because that's what we're trying to do here is um, allow you to fully shine that light that is you Leo so so much pain coming up Pleiadians told you that <laughs> these card situations told you that when you feel anxious the only anxiety I see here is is letting something go is walking away and transitioning through a period this is a rite of passage this is a major transformation in your life if you've already had a spiritual awakening, this is like next level phase. It's a major leveling up. And you guys are doing it. You're doing the work and it's hard. But let's see what lessons you're being you're being shown. The soul's journey. Please tell me about Leo. What is their biggest lessons right now that they're facing? Fear, exactly. That anxiety, panic, scared feeling. I realize, this is your affirmation. I realize that I am testing my resolve to live in the energy of love. I realize that I am testing my resolve to live in the energy of love. So definitely dealing with fear. You guys are bold, you're courageous. So we really need to let this go. This could have been past issues and this is just the lesson that you, you're already understanding. That this is what you were letting go here. Because in your future and in towards the end of this month and what you're dealing with and what you're wanting, I don't see any fear at all. We have growth on the bottom. Just I just saw that so I just want to point it out. I want to expand my consciousness and my awareness. That's a good affirmation. I want to expand my consciousness and my awareness. Is there another lesson that Leo is working on from now to the end of May? Any other lessons for Leo from now to the end of May, please? Failure. Wow. I understand that a mistake is only an opportunity to learn. So some of you may be really taking on this like remorse, regret, um, feeling that a career path, a relationship that you feel failed maybe because of you. If you feel like you're putting this all on you. Um, but we all fail, you know. So this is about embracing that lesson that was being learned of why. And you guys are definitely moving in the right direction. If you want to travel, you should. I feel like you should make plans to do that soon. You're, it's like you're opening the new path. You're making way. You're not forcing anything in. It's like you're taking whatever's coming to you and you, you're expecting the best of the best. And that's why this Empress energy is here. You can manifest anything right now. But it's like you're doing you. You could be pampering yourself, spending more time alone. But it's like you're feeling yourself. You like this energy that you're in. Some of you, you may feel that you do better alone. Or you just feel like the world is your oyster now. You've opened up a whole new level and you're just expecting all this goodness to come in. Some of you are expecting marriage in the future. But you're not settling unless it's everything that you want. And in order to do this, you're transforming internally with the Hermit card. So that's beautiful. That's a beautiful reading for you, Leo. Um, continue to, you know, transmute these energies and really uh, integrate these lessons. And I see you guys having a really much better month in June as this transformation progresses. Thank you. Please like and subscribe. If you got anything out of this, 
please comment and share that uh, with me and others. I would really appreciate that. Thank you.